I actually want to go see the movie. I remember the game, but I really like The Rock, and he's very charismatic. Holy shit! Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to an episode of Spitting Venom, aka the Venom Vlog. And again, just a lot of news today, so I figured it's my day off. I'm just going to record a bunch of videos for you guys. So hopefully you're enjoying this stuff. I'll post them as quickly as I can uh, to give you guys more content to check out if you are you know, if you know, want to do that. Uh, for those of you who are watching, though, I do appreciate it very much. Uh, what we're going to talk about today, and before I get into it, I actually have another giveaway. Uh, this came in the mail, and this is my copy of Venom Number no. 5 by Donnie Cates and Ryan Stegman. Uh, and J.P. Meyer and all the other wonderful people working on this book, and Devin Lewis, who is the editor on it. And I'm going to give out the code right there. Boom. Check it out. First person to put that code in gets the comic book. So if you do get it, let me know in the comments below if you got it and if you read it and what you think of it. I'd love to hear your feedback. Um, so with that out of the way, let's dive into today's episode, or this episode, I should say. This is like my fifth episode I'm recording today. Uh, but let's dive into this and talk about something we, you know, follow up something we did earlier this year. Uh, earlier this year, there was a bunch of little things happening in early January and up to late January, which was the film of Venom was wrapping up filming in Atlanta. And they started adding new characters to the IMDb. DB because they were coming to San Francisco to film stuff out here. And one of the people we saw that was listed on IMDb was Mac Brandt. And he's an actor who's apparently playing a character named Jack the Bartender in this film, which we had a big theory on. We thought maybe, you know, if they are going to make this a universe and it's going to be the Venomverse or whatever, that they might need a cosmic character to do this, kind of like a Madam Web type. And I thought, wow, that'd be neat if it was Jack the Bartender, because when I saw that name, I was like, that sounds familiar to me. And I went back and looked at some old comics and in issue, I think, four or around that area of Eternals, uh, we actually got a character named Jack the Bartender who was based on Jack Kirby. And, uh, and he was this cosmic character that just, you know, came out and had a bunch of answers uh, about a bunch of things. He was ex Exposition City, basically. He showed up for a couple pages, but uh, his human disguise or whatever was that he was at this bar uh, that had cosmic entities come into it. And, uh, and, you know, Venom didn't show up there. It wasn't anything like that. This was like an Eternals book, but still it was a neat thing. So when I saw that in the IMDb, I was like, that's probably just a coincidence. Like maybe it's just... Jack. He's just a guy, and they're just calling him Jack the Bartender. Um, or maybe it's a nod to it without being the actual character, because who knows if Sony even has the rights to that character. Uh, and then also, who knows if they're going to even inject a cosmic character into this world. Uh, they already have, you know, a, like a space alien in it, uh, merging with a human. So that's probably all the, you know, the, the boundaries they're going to go to in this film. So ultimately, I don't think it's really the comic book version of Jack the Bartender, but it was fun to speculate on, and it was fun to talk about for a while. And uh, so after that, I was like, all right, well, let's look at you know more information, see what else comes out. And then we got from San Francisco Gate, a you know website in San Francisco. They were talking about the film coming to shoot, and it's under its name Antidote. Uh, that's the code name for Venom when they were filming it, uh, hoping that people wouldn't figure it out. But of course, it's the internet; people figured it out pretty quickly. Uh, and so when they were filming Antidote or Venom in San Francisco, they were saying that they were going to this place called the Edinburgh Castle, and this is a very popular place in uh, San Francisco. A nice bar uh, has kind of a castle look to. It and uh, and it just has a very unique style to it, and I'm sure Ruben Fleischer noticed that and was like, "Yeah, we got to film something in there. It looks cool." So in the latest TV spot, we actually get a shot of this. And so before I go any further, I want to say for those of you who don't want to know anything else about TV spots, this is probably where you're going to have to get off uh, because I am going to talk a little bit about it and show an image from the TV spot. And I know some of you still want a clean slate from here on out going into the movie. It's just one shot we're going to show, and it's a simple shot, and I don't think it spoils anything. It just kind of feeds into the speculation part that I'm talking about in this episode. So if you don't want to see it at all, please go away now. I won't be offended. Uh, but for those of you who are staying, let's check out this image. It is going to be right here in 3, 2, 1, boom. Uh, this is the image of Eddie Brock in the new trailer, the new TV spot called Cooperate. And he's next to a guy and the guy asks him, hey, aren't you Eddie Brock? And he says, I used to be, you know, which is kind of a fun, cheesy, corny line uh, that I like because it fits Venom's and Eddie Brock's personality uh, to, a, to an extent. And uh, seeing this, though, it looks like it might be the Edinburgh Castle. And so when I saw this in the shot, it made me think of those videos we made. So uh, I want to give, you know, just another, start up another conversation about that uh, and, and just show like, hey, we know this location. I'm pretty sure it's the same one because I don't know if they're going to go to multiple bars in this movie. I think there is a strip club, though, in this movie. So those of you out there who were saying like, oh, it, you know, rated R, you know, is it rated R or not? I don't know what they'll show in the strip club, but I think there is, I think there was a strip club guy, like bouncer listed on the IMDb or something. Um, but then I think this is just a separate bar here and it looks like it's the Edinburgh 
castle. And in the movie, they might use movie magic to make them the same place. I don't know. Uh, but for this, you know, just a quick shot of Eddie Brock sitting at the stool, talking to this guy next to him. And we don't see who the bartender is, but I'm going to assume that Mac Brandt is there serving the drinks to Eddie Brock and this other patron of the bar. Uh, so again, it just made me think of that stuff. And I was like, hey, you know what? This will be fun to talk about because I know we have a lot of new people here who haven't gone back and watched the older videos. So if you want to see that stuff, I was like, yeah, that's a good way to bring up some of the stuff we talked about in January, where we were talking about filming locations for Venom in San Francisco. And we we're also talking about Mac Brandt joining the cast and what, who, you know, what role he was going to be in. And then that, you know, when it was revealed on IMDb that he might be Jack the Bartender, we were trying to figure out if that was going to be the real Jack the Bartender from the comics, or if it was just coincidence uh, and all that. So, you know, just fun topic to talk about, more behind the scenes stuff, but just something I saw when I saw this trailer of this TV spot, I was like, oh, that's something we could maybe make a video on is the Edinburgh Castle. And I'm pretty sure. So I'll have an image of the Edinburgh Castle. I'll try to get some images from uh, online because we showed them in our previous video and I'll try to retract those down and show some and see if we can do a comparison. It looks similar. I don't know if it is the same place, but it looks like it could be. And I don't know, just felt like talking about it. So if you guys uh, have an opinion on that, let me know. If you won the free comic, let me know as well. And before we go, I do want to give a quick mention to this. If you go on the IMDb page for Venom, this happened like last week and I was going to make a video on it. And I completely slipped my mind. I forgot. But if you go to the page, uh, you know, go to the, the IMDb page, which I'll put a link to again down below, you'll see this counter. And this is counting down to the Venom movie, to the, uh, you know, midnight releases of the Venom movie on October 4th, I believe. So 29 days, 7 hours, 56 minutes, and 33 seconds as of recording of this video, uh, we got this counter going down. So definitely go check that out. It's a neat thing. They put some cool wallpaper up around the IMDb page. And I'm pretty sure between now and then, uh, the movie coming out, they're going to probably adjust some of the things on IMDb, like people's jobs and clearing things up. I don't think we're going to get all the things. I think Scott Hayes will probably remain anonymous of what role he's playing, although we all think it's, you know, Roland Treese. Um, but, you know, it'll be interesting to see what happens there. Woody Harrelson, I'm sure they're going to keep a lot of these as secret, and they're going to wait till maybe the second weekend of the movie being out after the initial crowd saw it to change the IMDb pages to hopefully get people excited. Uh, and then, you know, and hopefully the word, new movie gets good word of mouth and people talk about it. Uh, but at that point, spoilers will probably already be out there. And so there will be no reason to hide it on IMDb anymore. Uh, and I'm also keeping an eye on IMDb for the, you know, announcement or if they update it on who's editing this film. I think we got some information from Wikipedia, but I don't want to put all my cards in that basket yet, even though it makes sense that editor has worked with Ruben Fleischer before. I still want to, you know, uh, wait for an official word. And speaking of working with Ruben Fleischer before, so has Mac Brandt um, on uh, previous movies too. And so he's the one playing Jack the Bartender. So a lot of fun things here. I don't know. Just thought it'd be interesting. So uh, I figured this would be a good way to just like release all these ideas in my head and just talk about them with you guys. But then also talk about this new uh, TV spot because I know a lot of you guys are going to ask me about it. And I didn't cover it in my last video. And I was like just about to be done for the day. And I was like, you know what? I'll make one more video and I'll talk about this TV spot but I'll do it in a way where we can tie it back to older videos to hopefully direct people to check out some of our older content on here. So again, let me know what you think of all this down below. Uh, do you think Jack the Bartender is the actual comic character? Just a coincidence. And have you been to the Edinburgh Castle in uh, in San Francisco? Have you been there? Uh, it looks nice. I've seen some of the images of it before. It looks really awesome. I don't really drink, so I haven't been to it, uh, obviously. And when I went to San Francisco uh, two years ago, I didn't you know, manage to peek in there because I didn't know about it. Uh, but now that I do, if I ever go back to San Francisco, I'll definitely visit and take pictures and be like, hey, they filmed Venom here, uh, which will be, you know, a fun thing for me. Uh, but I'll definitely share it with you guys if I ever do that. So thanks so much for watching my show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.